Hey everybody, um, first off I would like to apologize for not having any videos up for the first four weeks of the season. I'm very disappointed with myself and I hope you forgive me. Um, hopefully videos will become more consistent. Um, I've become extremely addicted to nothing um, and haven't really had time for to put up videos. Um, anyway, um, let's start with the current standings after four weeks. In first place, we have the Richmond Slam Dunk at 4-0, looking like a solid team. Um, tied for second, we have Band Substance and the Battling Breslin, both a 3-1 and one, and one game back. Uh, first place, the Dynasty Honey Hunters, Timo and Hein, and Sweet and Sour Chinese Food are all tied at 2-2 two and two, and two games back. Berkshire's Finest is at 1-3, and three, tied with Hannah Montana. Both of those um, teams are at three games back. And in last place at 0-4 and, and four games back, we have the Barrington Ballers. All right, um, let's take a look at the current scoreboard for Week 5, um, sort of a midweek update for that um, for this week. Um, and, and the Dynasty versus Sweet and Sour Chinese Food um, the dynasty is putting a hurting on them, up uh, 790.5 to 547. The Honey Hunters are trying to take down the Richmond Slam Dunk, but are slightly behind, 523 to 672. The Battling Breslin is putting it to Band Substance, 612 to 440.5. Um, Berkshire's Finest are destroying Team Obenheim, almost doubling their score, 627 to 342. And um, Hannah Montana is in a tight battle with Barrington Ballers. And there's the Richmond Slam Dunk right there, just waking up at 4 0. The franchise is here. <laughs> the franchise player is here. Okay. No, no games today, right? No games? No, no games today. Practice? Practice? <laughs> We talking about practice? I'm a franchise player. We talking about practice? Not a game. We're not talking about a game. We talking about practice. <laughs> there you go. Bye bye, Alex. <laughs> Have a nice retirement. <laughs> practice. Okay. I think they all practice. get the picture. Sorry about that. Uh, um, all right, let's um, let's move on to my McDonald's fantasy All Americans for Week Five. Um, Marcus Candy, um, the old man, doing some work, getting 130.5 points for the dynasty. Thank you, Marcus Candy, and Marte Ellis, the little man, putting up 144.5 points, solid. All right, um, a little disappointing. No trades lately. No big names being moved around. Nothing. Only one all year. I'd like to see a little bit more of that. Might be might be fun. I don't know. Look at your teams. See if you want to trade. Um, all right. Here is the biggest announcement I have to make. This league is has five new teams. Uh, Sweet and Sour Chinese Food, Honey Hunters, Berkshire's Finest, Obenheim, and the Berkshire Ballers. Um... Two of these teams will be cut from this league next year. They will not be back. You will not be in my fantasy leagues. I'm sorry. Two other teams will be invited to play in my fantasy football and fantasy baseball leagues. So, out of those five teams, two will be cut, two will be invited to play in my other leagues, and one will be allowed to stay in fantasy basketball. Um, it won't be based on just your record, though your record will play a part in it. Um, there will also be the issue of if you've been paying attention. So, I don't really care if you're 6-0 and because you just have a couple of nasty players that have just been destroying everybody. If you finish the season undefeated, but you haven't checked your team once, I might take you over somebody that hasn't won a game, but has checked their team every single day. Not that that would normally happen, but that's just an example. Um, so that's pretty much it. 
Um, I'd like to thank Eric Hill for his guest appearance on today's update, whatever that was. All right. Um, keep paying attention, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Eat some food. All right. See ya. Because I didn't know enough. I just knew too much. We talking about practice?